everyone. I've got another Minecraft request. And this has been so, so popular. People, like over 100 people probably comment and message me. Please draw. Sky does Minecraft. So I'm finally going to teach you how to draw him. We just did the spider. And uh, let's get started without hesitation. To start with, you're going to start with the simple shapes, just like the other drawings we did. So for the head, I'm going to make the head turning a little bit to the side. Like that. So you'll see the side of the head. You can see simple block shape. So start with that little block shape there. You know, we won't put the things on until later. Then for the body, you want to have another block shape. Let me see here. <clears throat> I'm just checking the clothing, what the clothing looks like. And this one, probably make it a little skinnier. Uh, the thing about his character is, you know, it's got this kind of stylized look, so I'm going to stick with that fluid kind of look. Even though it's a Minecraft thing, it's got a fluid look to it. So another shape, you'll see the side of that. Then the arm will be coming off. I don't like this arm bending. This is just rough sketch right now. We're kind of bending up and I'll go into the shoulder. Then I'll have part of it that you see like that. Like I said, I'm using real basic shapes and the legs. Just make them kind of how you feel fit. I'm going to make them get a little bigger towards the bottom. You can see I'm still sticking with basic shapes. Right now, like I said, sketchy. I'll go back. We're just getting a feel. Because, you know, I want to make you have this kind of style. Like I said, kind of fluid. Especially when you look at other drawings of this character. So this comes down. Make this a little longer. Kind of like that. Then his other hand, I'm going to make his other hand out. And he'll be holding the butter. So you can see I'm just doing another arm here. And for this arm, I'm going to make it where you see the top part of it like that. Let's say I just got this little arm shape. And notice how it's a little shorter just because it's bending. You know, like when you squish things, a lot of cartoonists will do that. See how it's just a little shorter than that. It's compressed. It's just to show his arm is like this. So basically then when you got that, you can really start drawing up the character. And, you know, that's the thing about certain characters. It's all about the look and appearance. So for him, I'm going to start just sketching up the hair. You can make the hair how you want. It's pretty uh, It's pretty dynamic, you know, when you look at the pictures. On the back, it's kind of flat. So I'm just going to do that. And then as it gets towards the front shapes, it goes crazy. So make it come up here. So I'm just doing capturing the hair shapes. Real simple shapes. And for the eyes, let me just check something here. And for the eyes, he's got the glasses on. So a lot the you can make the glasses how you want. I'm gonna make it capture it kind of close to you want to stop, but for the most part it's kind of like this little shape and then it connects up top with a bridge and another shape like that then you'll see it and it'll go back kind of goes into the hair so make the hair a little longer like I said right now it's not finalizing anything just kind of 
fun time sketching it up. I'll make his head a little skinnier. I want to make it look more skinnier. And then, for the mouth, give him a big smile. And his teeth will be shown. Have a smile, and usually his teeth shows. You see part of the tongue, and we'll darken that in later. Now here's where you get into the the stall. He's got this the necklace thing with the jewel. So you just make the line. It's kind of got these ridges on it. And the amulet thing. First you draw a shape there. Like that. Then it comes down. It's almost a rectangular shape. You can see I'm making it really cartoony. I'm, I'm trying to stick as closely to the style. Like if you look at his YouTube page, he has a style on the his channel where it's kind of exaggerated. Things aren't drawn like 100%. Uh, everything's not drawn crisp and clear. It's almost a, like I said, cartoony, exaggerated. That's what I'm trying to capture is that style. And then for the body, kind of this pattern that comes down. It goes like that and open right here. It comes down. It just goes to the sides. Let me check. I'm just checking reference, make sure. You gotta ever come to the sides. It's just kind of like this. And like that there. And last but not least, we'll get the arms. So you get that. And very important for the arms. Here's the body. Shoulder, you got one part on the shoulder. So this all black here. That's the top part of the shoulder. So it'll be dark and we'll go back and shade in. Then it gets light. You can see here. Right here, the arm part. It's lighter. Then it gets dark again. And then his hand's got a glove on it. So light, and then usually I'll put an X for the dark spots. And same on this side, so I'll put dark here. This will be all darkened and light. Another dark, then the glove part. And the legs, you can make one line here for the legs. And you can see how it's starting to form. So you can see that. Then for the arms, it has a little part and each side just juts out, goes in, like here, juts out, goes back in. It's just a line. And the line comes out, so you got a little line there. Just like that, and then the rest has this glove on this side. So for the same thing, over here you want to just Make the line jutting in like that, jutting in. And just draw that little line just like that. So it looks something like that. Then we'll get the legs real quick. Legs have a knee pad on them. 
And so you're going to have a line. It kind of wraps along the leg. So you have it come here. Then it'll go downward. And then you have the knee pad halfway on the leg. And you can just draw a little, almost like an egg shape. You can see that. And then the side of the leg just kind of comes up like that. It's got the knee. And he's got his boots or his shoes. Like I said, I'm trying to stick to the style. Because normally when I draw it's a it's kind of a cleaner thing where the lines are more precise and things. But for this drawing, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of the styles and all the styles are like a looser, kind of flowy, cartoony, exaggerated thing. So I'm trying to stick with that the best I can. I hope it so and then for this side, same thing I'll come on the outside, so another e pad thing. And just sketch this. Then the front of the leg again. So it's very important you get these little indentations. Basically you have the vein up. I'll show you how to finish it up. First I'm going to erase any lines that don't belong. You know, start with the block, blocky lines here that we started with. So go back, erase your guidelines. And someone actually messaged me lately uh, asking, this isn't exactly what I asked, but he asked, is it okay to erase? Uh, you know, he's kind of saying, do you prefer erasing? Do you think people should erase? And in my opinion when it comes to that is that I really, really feel like erasing is important. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people consider it, a lot of people consider it that you're bad, that if you're erasing it means you're making lots of mistakes. So they kind of have this mentality that they're never ever going to erase when they draw. And you know that's, in my opinion, that's really bad because uh, it's really bad because you know you have an eraser for that purpose. I mean, it is kind of the idea that you'll make mistakes, but when it comes to erasing, you know, even professional artists, like just look at some of the digital artists on here, and you'll see digitally they'll erase a lot because they're just getting, they're editing things, they're changing things. And so when you're doing things on paper, it's the same principle. It's, you know, you have to start with some kind of sketch, some kind of premise, and you're not always going to use those lines when you're done. You're going to use your finish lines rather than the guidelines you start with. So don't feel bad for your race. You know, it's, it helps you out, whatever helps. So I'm just going to go back in this mechanical and really get this flushed out here so line here and basically it's a mixture of really dark blacks so this gets black right here and notice how I'm making the shading lines uh, parallel to the surface in other words you know so this surface is going that way and this one's kind of going that way. Uh, that's very important when you get into hatching and shading, especially if you're doing superheroes, that you want to make sure the lines are going in that direction if you're hatching so it looks that way it looks correct. So that's that and then this is darker and I hope that made sense about the racing. This is a very dark line. Wraps all the way around. And this is gray. So I'm just making light lines. And the end of it's black. Which I'm going to shade in better. Basically, uh, just go ahead and finish up the shading. I'll show you what gets shaded what. Uh, I'll show you real quickly. So that's that arm. 
This is black. So I actually got the finish drawn uh, just to save time because it's going to take a while to shade. This area is all black where this wraps around. So go ahead and shade that in. Make sure those lines look good. And this gets the lines. Kind of like that. And then this area behind here is going to be all black. And you don't have to do that. You can make it your own style, your preference for just this here. And then it's got this open flap where open flap where the chest shows. And make sure you get the keep the, the amulet thing and it's got this it's kind of got these little almost looks like beads I'm looking at his avatar so you want to do that and then get this in same side all black you can start to see just by adding basic values the characters popping out now I'm just doing that. This is gray. You can stylize this better. Basically, uh, you know, just the for the hair. I'll show you how to do the hair. Just make a couple lines flowing. Make sure you keep these lines very dark so it has an outline you may notice I'm using a paper underneath my hand that way I don't smudge it that's what a lot of people do so just come in and make a couple lines here and I'm gonna go back and shade it better then the glasses, glasses you can do I'm gonna make it purely all black and then add a little reflection. Oh yeah, one important thing I almost forgot, eyebrows. Eyebrows kind of overlap the eyes, so one there. Then make another one. Just a little arch, just to style. And I'm just making it a little darker so you can see it. That's very important. Sorry about that. And one last thing, don't forget, you've got to draw the butter! The butter in this head, oh yeah! No, now it's looking good, now it's looking good. So just a little butter. You can make it just, make it almost floating. That way it's not exactly on the hand, that's how we do But look, like that little stick of butter. I love butter, I love butter, yeah I do, I love butter. Clock my eyes, I want butter please. Then right here in the back of the mouth. Real dark. The tongue's a little lighter. Just finish up shading. Uh, I know I said that before, but I got carried away doing the thing. This is black, so shade all that black. This is gray, and just follow along with the the finish thing in the beginning of the video, so you can see what colors to shade. And thanks everyone for watching. This came out awesome. Up next, it'll probably be how to draw Ryu. So thanks everyone. Appreciate it.